Thank you very much, Paul. Our first guest tonight is a, a brilliant songwriter and a musician who has been a friend of ours for 20 years, and uh, believe me, it's a thrill to have him here with us. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Warren Zevon. Warren! Play. <laughs> Here, uh, I guess a couple of months ago, we all uh, learned that your life has uh, changed radically, hasn't it? You mean you heard about the flu? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, kind of about the flu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's true. How did you, how did you learn about it, and, and what is it, and um, how have things been since? What was the order of those questions again? <laughs> <laughs> Entirely up to you, any way you want to field them. How did I learn about it? Yeah. Well, first of all, let me say that I, I might have made a, a tactical error in not going to a physician for 20 years. <laughs> I see. Well, all it right. Was, it was one of those phobias that really didn't pay off. <laughs> uh, the only person that I ever go to is Dr. Stan. You know Dr. Stan, the I dentist. Oh, the Dr. dentist. Dr. Stan oh, Golden. Know. So you go to a dentist on a regular basis. You didn't yeah, and I always said, if he can't fix it, I'm screwed. <laughs> And I told Dr. Stan that I was having shortness of breath, which, well, I had it for months, and I, I did a, a short tour, went to Canada, and I, I would only hire people who would tell me it was stress. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, flunked out medical students who became musicians, and would, I'd say, I said, I'm short of breath all, all the time. Uh -huh. They said, don't you ever watch The Sopranos? <laughs> <laughs> and I said, no, I don't know. But... Uh, when Dr. Stan, the dentist, heard about it, he said, it sounds like congestive heart failure or something, so he'd maybe go to a doctor the next morning after he heard it. Oh, my God. And it, it turned yeah. out not to be congestive heart failure. Ooh. Yeah. No. And what was the diagnosis? It's, uh, it's uh, lung cancer that's spread. That's tough. That's well, tough. it means you better get your dry cleaning done on special. <laughs> um... Now, when, when I first heard about this, I, I think that you were in, in touch with uh, Paul's assistant. He actually had a conversation with him. Yeah. And, and he said it was the, the most bizarre thing, kind of the, the stunning revelation of this. But yet Warren was making jokes just like that. Now, how is that possible? I, I'm not sure I could make jokes like that if I had had I'm that sure information. You, you think so? I know you would. Really? Yeah. Yeah. And you, to me, you, you look and seem remarkably healthy. I mean, that's kind of an odd... Well, don't be fooled. <laughs> <laughs> don't be fooled by cosmetics. <laughs> and how do you feel? Um, not, I don't feel as bad as they say I am. Uh-huh. You know, and I... That's okay. That's, that's, that's a good deal. And, and you have spent a, a lot of time uh, recently uh, working very hard, haven't you? Working on uh, another project. Another yeah, one. yeah. They certainly don't discourage you from doing whatever you want. Yeah. Uh, it's not like it's not like bed rest and a lot of water will you know <laughs> yeah. straighten you out. And and how how is that work now under this circumstance living with this diagnosis? How how is the work now compared to when you assumed you were healthy when you were only going to see Doctor Stan? I'm 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 working harder and and uh, you know you put more value on every minute you do live. I mean I always thought I kind of did that. I really always enjoyed myself, but yeah. but it's more valuable now. You're reminded to enjoy every sandwich and every minute of mm -hmm. playing in the, with the guys and, and being with the kids and everything. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm stricken now, and I guess this is the way things like this work, by the irony of, of your work now, you know, when, when we look at it, knowing uh, about the diagnosis, about the Dave, disease. That, that's the strangest part to me, certainly. Yeah. I mean, except that maybe, I mean, as you know, I don't know how many other people know, because you're... You know, Dave's is the best friend my music has ever had. <laughs> so I don't know how many of the audience realize that uh, the last...
Well, for, for example, the, the title of the, the new CD, My Ride's Here. Hello. That, 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 <laughs> that has a whole, a whole different meaning. Yeah. Uh, yeah and and uh, another song, the, the one Paul played, I'll Sleep When I'm Dead. And the previous album was called Life Will Kill You. Yeah. It was about, all about my phobia of doctors. And, you know, I just figure that if artists don't have, um, well, I guess artists have some kind of instincts or, you know, feelings about about things that can't be put in the words, you know, kind of oppressions combined with very rudimentary manual skills. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, how would you get away with having a job so easy and so yeah. much fun? So, so, so you're saying that you think maybe somewhere this, this is, comes as not so much a surprise to you? Well, I can't really complain. <laughs> yeah. I did take the copies of the albums to my doctors and say, this is why I'm not so shocked. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the, and the, but I don't, I don't know what the connection is. I don't know why I was writing those songs, but you know, I've always written them. Yeah. And Mr. Bad Example, a song? Now, I, I, no, I know, uh, I guess everybody who knows you knows that you uh, did enjoy yourself to the point of punishing others, really, <laughs> at some point. <laughs> and, and... Well, that's <laughs> not really the way you put it outside of meetings, but if you want to say so... <laughs> That's okay. Emotionally speaking. Well, yeah, I know. Yeah. I know how you meant it. <laughs> um, and did, did, did you think that contributed to the lung cancer? Punishing people emotionally? No, 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 no. <laughs> Maybe not taking care of yourself. I think that, uh, you know, I think that I chose a certain path and uh, lived, like a, lived like Jim Morrison and then lived 30 more years. Who knows why? Yeah. Do you... You make choices, and then you have to live with the consequences. There are always consequences. From, from your perspective now, do, do you know something about uh, life and death that maybe I don't know now? Not unless I know how much, how much you're supposed to enjoy every sandwich, mm -hmm. you know? How's your family? They're holding up pretty well. It's tough on them, but they're yeah. holding up pretty well. Yeah. You know, we're a pretty close family. Me and my kids. Good. You have the, the two, uh, the boy and the girl? Yeah. Yeah. Good yeah. for you. Um, and tonight you're going to sing uh, hopefully three songs. Yes, uh, I am. And the, the first one is called uh, Mutineer. Mm -hmm. what, what is that I song? the last one was called Mutineer. What's the well, order? I don't know here? the order. There's some confusion. Oh. When are you, <laughs> when are you doing White Christmas, Warren? That's all we want to know. Mutineer's first? Mutineer's first, yeah. Oh. <laughs> that's, the, that's the touching one. You want to change the order? We can change the order. Oh, I don't even do that on professional television. Why should we do what he wants to do? <laughs> oh, stop it, Paul. <laughs> uh, well, what, what is that song about? You wrote it, it as 1995, I think? Well, I would. I don't remember that. Oh, that's seven you don't years even remember ago. the live album, do you? <laughs> you don't remember the live album. The live album? The, the Stand Which in the Fire album? from the Roxy? Oh, no, no, I don't remember that. No, I didn't think you remember that one. <laughs> I remember the one from 19... Well, you know. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. uh, but anyway, we're delighted that you're going to do some of your stuff for us tonight. And, Thanks, uh, David. Anything else you'd like to do? Thank you. And then, let me just say now, thank you for being here, and, and thank you for everything. Thank you. Sir. We'll be right back. Mr. Zuban is going to perform for us.